Welcome back everybody. Today's lesson is long division part 2. Today's lesson we are going to learn how to divide decimal numbers by two digit and three digit numbers. If we take example 1, if we have a number like 465 divided by 23. Now because here you have the divisor two digits so you will take the first two digits also from the dividend. 46 divided by 23, I will make my draft here. I'll try 23 times 1 is 23, 23 times 2 is 3 times 2, 6, and 2 times 2, 4. Oh, wow, so it's exactly 46. So I'll take this 2 here, I write it here, 2 times 23, I multiply like this, and I write the answer here, 46 minus 46 is 0. Now get down the 5. Remember, any number I get it down, I should divide it by the divisor. And if it is less than the divisor, I should put here 0. So 5 divided 23, and 5 is less than 23, so you put here a 0, like this. Now 0 times 23 is 0, and you subtract 5 minus 0 is 5. We can continue, or we can stop here, and we say the remainder is 5. If I want to continue, I will put here a 0, and I'll put here a decimal point like this so I add a zero here I put a decimal point here now divide normally 50 divided by 23 I know that 23 times 2 is 46 which is so close to 50 and of course if I multiply 23 times 2 it will be more than 50 so I will need I will take the 2 2 times 23 46 and I subtract I get 4 now you can add another zero here 40 divided 23 of course I will not take 23 times 2 because it's 46 which is more than 40 so I'll take only 1 1 times 23 is 23 and subtract you will get 17 like this if you want to continue we'll add a zero here and you will continue and so on if not you should stop here and you can round this answer to the nearest tenths for example and of course the tenth is the, this 2 so to the nearest tenth it will be rounded to 20.2 if you don't know how to round please watch the video of rounding decimals now take another example now by decimal number by decimal point 235.6 divided by 14 now before dividing if you have a decimal point please put a decimal point exactly above it in your answer here so as you see here I, before I start dividing I put the decimal point so that I will not forget it now start dividing you have 14 two digits and you have 235 you will take two, two digits also from here so dividing 23 over 14, let, this is my draft, 14 times 1 is 14, 14 times 2 is, 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now 28 is more than, than 23, so I will not take the 2, I will take only 1, and I will put it above the 23 which I took. Now 1 times 14 is 14, so you multiply, 1 times 14 is 14, and then you subtract. 23 minus 14 is 9. Now get down the 5. Up to now, we are at the left on of the decimal point. We did not reach the decimal point yet. Now, 95 divided by 14. Let us try, for example, 14 times, for example, 6. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 and carry up 2. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 84 is close to 95, but let's take another number so that if it can be more closer so 14 times 7 4 times 7 is 28 8 and carry up 2 1 times 7 7 plus 2 is 9 it's 98 which is more than 95 so I will not take this I will take the 6 so I'll put the 6 here and 6 times 14 as you see here it's 84 now subtract 5 minus 4 is 1 and 9 minus 8 is also 1 now get down the 6 which is after the decimal point so the number which I will write up here will be after the decimal point as well 116 divided by 14 okay let's try for example 14 times 
9. 4 times 9 is 36. 6 and carry up 3. 1 times 9 is 9 plus 3 is 12. 126 is more than 116. Okay, let's try 14 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. 2 and carry up 3. 1 times 8 is 8 plus 3 is 11. Okay, 112 is less than 116 and is very close to it. So I will take the 8 here. 8 times 14 is 112. Now subtract 6 minus 2 is 4. If you want to continue, you can add a 0 as we know from before. Now, but we will not put another decimal point because the decimal point is already here. So 40 divided by 14, which one of these you will take? Which one is the closest one? Okay, let's take another. We have times 2, we have times 6. We don't, we didn't take times 3. So let's try times 3, 14 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry up 1, 1 times 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, which is 42. So it's more than 40, so I'll take only 1. 1 times 14, uh, I'm sorry, I'll take the 2. So 2 times 14 is 28. And I subtract, I will get the answer 12. If you want to continue, you can add a 0 and so on. If you want to stop here, so the answer here will be rounded to the nearest tenth, for example. It will be 16.8 also. So the answer is exactly, or I'm sorry, is approximately 16.8. Another example, if we have 1088... Point one. we want to divide it by 27 so before we start as we know if we have a decimal point here we will put our decimal point above it exactly here in the answer then we'll start you have two digits 27 and you can take one zero which is 10 and of course 10 is less than 27 so I will take 108 divided by 27 now do our draft here let's try we know that 27 times 1 is 27 27 times 2 7 times 2 50 sorry 7 times 2 is 14 we we'll put 4 carry up to 1 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 54 so it's very far from 108 so let's continue 27 for example let's take 4 7 times 4 is 28 8 and carry up 2, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2 is 10. Wow, I got it's exactly 108. So I'll take the 4 here. 4 times 27 is 108. Subtract the remainder is 0. Now get down this 8, which is still before the decimal point. Now any digit I get it down, I should divide it by 27. So 8 divided 27 and 8 is less than 27. So the answer should be 0 here. Now 0 times 27 is 0 and the remainder is 8. Now get down the 1 which is after the decimal point. So when I write the answer up, I will write it after the decimal point as well. Now 81 divided by 27. We know that 27 times 2 is 54 and 27 times 4 is 108. So let's take 27 by 3. Let's try it. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 and carry up 2. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8, which is exactly my answer. So it will be here 3. 3 times 27 is 81 and the remainder is 0. So the answer is exactly so the answer is exactly 40.3, as you see here. One more example. 426.12 divided by 212. Wow, we have here three digit number and we have a decimal number here. So before anything, I should replace my decimal point above the decimal point and I start. I have three digit numbers so I will not take one digit or two digits I will take the three digits at one time. 426 divided by 212 let's make my draft here 212 times 1 is 212 212 times 2 2 times 2 is 4 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 also so the answer
is very close to 426 so I will take here 2 2 times 212 is 424 and if you subtract you will find the answer remaining is 2 now get down the 1 and be careful the 1 is after the decimal point so any number I write it will be after the decimal point here so 21 divided by 212 and 21 is less than 212 so I'll put a 0 as we know here now 0 times 212 is 0 and subtract the remainder is 21 and then get down the last digit which is, which is 212 divided by 212 which gives me exactly 1 so 1 times 212 is 212 and the remainder is 0 so the answer here is 2.01 this is my answer hope you understand I like my video please leave any comment if any I would be glad to answer it back thank you and bye